So I decided to do a little video, I don't even know why I'm doing this really, just maybe for a bit of extra content, but hopefully to try and inspire some other people to, to try and something. A couple of days ago I went on a family day out and we ended up stumbling across a Warhammer shop in Bolton in England. Now Warhammer I used to know as Games Workshop as a lot of people have done and my story goes all the way back when I was in primary school. One of my friends used to have Blood Bowl and loads of the Warhammer stuff. I was quite into it along with the fighting fantasy books uh, which he also got me into. And ashamedly, I let the opinions of other kids influence my own decisions on what I liked. Along the way, I just stopped being interested in it and turned away from it and turned away from my friend. And it's something I regretted. And that became evident last week when we went into the Warhammer shop. My son has found a guy on YouTube like called Boy Like Hobby Time. And he does dioramas and model making and he likes to watch his stuff and watching him build models. And since he got into it, you know, we got him a bottle of Mod Podge. Anyone that's seen his show knows about Mod Podge. And it's just thought it'd be funny to get him a bottle and my wife picked him up a bottle for his birthday as a joke and he, he loved it. And I thought, when you get a bit older, I'll show you some miniature figures to be being painted. And he's just turned six and we just stumbled across this Warhammer shop. And I thought, what a better time to show him this cool thing. Now there is Fanboy 3 in Manchester which we have been in a few times but we've not really gone and looked at other models and this is one thing I would uh, encourage anyone that's even thought about it or is considering taking up the hobby of miniature painting or doing anything like this. We were fortunate enough to get a miniature. There you go. And what we were encouraged to do is book in with a member of the management team to have a one hour painting session to be taught the basics. So we ended up going to the Warhammer in Stockport. Uh, big shout out to Matthew, the store manager there who looked after us yesterday. And he really did do a great job of looking after us. And I'm sure my son won't mind me showing you this. But here, now it was painted blue beforehand he didn't manage to do that himself, but first one it's just turn six, the detail that you managed to get on that. Very, very impressed. It took us an hour. He absolutely loved it to bits. Matthew was also close enough to provide him with his very own paintbrush. So he can now paint that grey one that we got, we got him an extra one. And for none of you that are bothered, I'm going to show it anyway. There's mine. Very proud of that. That's my first effort. Which, you know, we're going to go back and book another session to try and finish these off. And I think that's where the video is going to end. Afraid not. So when we're in Bolton, we're that blown away by the, the customer service and the staff there that we ended up buying a Munchkin versus Warhammer board game set to try and get Elliot in, into it. And then the other day when we were down in Stockport, picked up very own starter kit. Now there were a few starter kits that were there. This one was £40. And we're getting this. It's, for, it's the board game as well as the as the, the figures. We get 16 Citadel mini figures, so just like the blue one I'm just showing you then. Uh, five uh, Infernus Marines, 10 Termagants, I'm so sorry and one Ripper uh, Swarm, a 48 page handbook, Citadel Clippers, Starter Brush, and five paints, six dice, one range ruler, and one play mat for 40 pounds. Cheaper than a video game, you get everything you need to start with your hobby. It's a board game, you get dice, you get your ruler, you get the figures, you get stuff to paint it with as well. And I think for 40 quid, you would be hard for us to find something as good a value as that. I've not opened it yet, still sealed, so let's have a look inside. I don't want to break this. You can see on the back there all the lore and information and other stuff, bits and pieces that you're going to get with the set. 
don't think we should take this to the floor. So here we go, let's have a look. Oh, I've opened it the right way around. So here's our Warhammer handbook. Our introduction, how to build the models, how to paint, read about Space Moon and the Trinidad tri tri and learn how to play. And automatically I feel nostalgic for something that I never had. The artwork in this is fantastic. Brilliant. We have our playing board. Oh my goodness. That is it's huge. There you go. I got size 12 feet. If you want some scale comparison. Our bases for the miniatures. Pack of dice. And all of the model kit. Nicely packaged. My little paintbrush. Some little clippers. Five pots of paints. And there's a ruler. There are some other model kits that you can get. Also an opted for the Space Marines one, which I think is a great choice because Space Crusade was the thing that I loved when I was a kid. Um, did anyone ever play the game from like 1993? The Space Hulk, I think it was. Classic. Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to building those and also painting them. When we did the painting yesterday, we were told to really take our time. My son had literally painted his <laughs> before I'd finished the barrel of my gun. But there's something really, really meditative, meditative, meditative. I've done some really bad England today. Really butchered the language. Anyway, I felt really relaxed and calm when I was doing it. It was really, it was really good to sort of take your mind off things and just do something distracting. It might be something that you didn't think you needed, but you really enjoy doing. And of course, there's more than just uh, Warhammer. These are the little model sets you can get and paint out there. I'd love to know what you collect or what you've been doing, what you've been building and what you really enjoy doing. And I'm going to try and do as best a job as I can on those figures so we can play them at a later date. And then also look at again a few more bits and pieces. So any tips you've got for me, let me know. Any uh, other content creators out there that you would recommend or maybe you are one of those content creators, let me know your channels and any tips and hints are greatly appreciated as this 42 year old nerd embarks on the quest that the 10 year old nerd should have done all those years ago. Cheers.